Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stag Stuff. And uh, today we're going to be doing some more maintenance. Could you tell, Bing? So we've got my boiler suit on. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, a coolant change. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> this is going to sound terrible. When I last did one. Um, it definitely wasn't last year. It might have been the year before, but it could have even been the year before that. And um, I'm going to be doing the longest trip I've ever done uh, in the summer. So I've decided it's time to change the coolant, but I'm also going to do a complete flush of the system as well, just to make sure that everything's okay, because I'm planning on doing a trip from the south coast, so down here in Kent, all the way up to um, Aberdeen and hoping to do that in one day so like a non-stop trip so <clears throat> uh, wanting to make sure that everything is tickety-boo uh, as far as the cooling system is concerned for that so let's get underneath and uh, start draining the system down so here we go underneath the car all we've got to do undo this and then get out the very <laughs> get out of the way very quickly so I can catch the uh, the uh, the water uh, yeah lovely job it's always messy why didn't I have it at that angle before that's it slide that out of the way right now then I'm going to uh, move this camera out of the way because of course the water is just going to puffer straight onto it if I don't so apologies for that well, I have to say, I'm rather impressed with how clear the uh, the water is. Um, the other interesting thing is, I know I've put uh, blue in here, but it's now a colour of red, or is it <laughs> rust? But uh, anyway, yeah, just have a little look in here. Okay, so I'm just underneath the car, and uh, something that you get on a Mark One when you are draining the system is can you see that tap basically it's a draining plug and there's one either side of the casting so um, I can't get to it um, with just one hand so I'm gonna need to have two but now you just you know, yeah it's <laughs> absolutely impossible and yeah need a, a long a spanner or something like that to uh, be able to get to it to turn that so that's what I'm going to do next because I want to make sure that I've got all of the uh, uh, coolant out before I start to flush so what you've got with these uh, taps drain taps very simple uh, you've got a hole just here which allows the fluid to come out that way and then that screws into this. Um, I have had to completely remove this plug. Um, this is from the offside because that had completely gunked up. So it didn't matter how much I'd undone this one. And then of course, uh, once I had undone this completely, got a lovely shower of uh, antifreeze all over me, but uh, oh the joys. Uh, okay, so we're all drained down. Uh, everything is closed back up again. So, radiator flush. So that's popping that in. That's it. And then top the rest up with all, just ordinary tap water. Run it for a few minutes up until hot. Well, a few minutes at hot. So I'm just going to get some ordinary water. Well, we've had a major spot of bother. Um, and that is that uh, we seem to have got an airlock and the water pump isn't pumping. Uh, loads of pressure, um, but none of the fuel hoses were getting warm. The uh, heater matrix wasn't blowing hot air. So um, rather than uh, let anything catastrophic happen, I've um, stopped the car running let the engine cool down and I'm now going to do a reverse flush instead. So for a reverse flush, the first thing we're going to do, take off the air box. So that gets got rid of and then that will expose the thermostat housing and we can get that undone. But I will drop 
the fluid level first. You can see, look, I just able to touch that. It's just cold. There's nothing there. Yeah, the engine, yeah, it's warm. Um, uh, we just need to drop the, the fluid level a little bit in there so that uh, we don't get fluid puthering out uh, when I open up the thermostat housing. Right, so we're just going to have a little look, see what the uh, level is here. And as long as we have dropped down... Can't see any water at all. Excellent, that's all right then. So we are going to take this off and uh, get sorted. There's a different way of being able to do it. I'll put that back on because we're wanting the water to come out that way. First thing I'm going to do, of course, get rid of this. It's cardboard. Oh, I'll just chuck it up on the roof. Roof's always a good place to put things. Okay, so now we've got the air box off. That means we've got nice clear access to the thermostat housing. Bolt here. And a bolt underneath, of course. <laughs> and that is, is always the way. There's stuff in the... Oh, I'll, be able to, I'll just get a longer extension for that because you just cannot get to the bolt from the... Top, or can you? No, I'm going to get a longer extension for that one, but let's just get this one undone. There we go. Not too much fuss. I'll oh, get the other one undone, get that one started with uh, a longer extension, just not quite big enough. And uh, you probably have that expression there's no such thing as the wrong weather, just the wrong clothes, and in Stagland, that's exactly the same. There's no such thing as uh, uh, the wrong tool. Oh, there we go. She's she's on her way. So that's nice and easy. Access with a longer extension. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. We've hit another snag. Just have a look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. The head of the bolt has sheared off. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Well, guys, um... It's now a good week since uh, that bolt sheared off. Um, I've tried mole grips, I've tried heat, um, I've got um, another trick up my sleeve, but basically it's um, resisting still. So um, this is going to be a whole other episode um, that I'm going to be putting together. Um, hopefully showing you how to be able to get a broken, rusted on bolt extracted from its housing. So until you see me again, um, hopefully with better news, um, I shall say take care, drive safely. Um, and if you have liked, do um, click the like button, do subscribe, and I'll see you next time, hopefully showing you how I can get this blessed uh, broken bolt out. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click on the like and subscribe buttons. And if you click on the bell, YouTube will be good enough to even notify you when we post new videos.